what a sucker I was. But pretty much, they're a slick and smooth nail. So this is a danger zone. I got my lumber delivered and got it up here and put it on some uh, boards to keep it off of the ground. We're expecting rain um, starting this afternoon. It's almost noon right now, so starting in the afternoon and continuing all afternoon and all night. But tomorrow and the next day are supposed to be um, sunny and I've got both of those days off. So um, I don't think I'm going to get too much done right now, but we got the lumber anyway. And this is the lumber for the platform. Uh, the work area, the deck in over the pit. <laughs> um, if you've watched the last two videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're just jumping into this fresh start with Shimoda Life, um, jump back a couple of videos and, and have a look. The lumber, my goodness, what rotten shape some of it is in. Uh, the two by fours, particularly. The two by eights seem to be all straight. They're all... Um, four meter, four meter lengths. Um, but the two by fours, um, they're stamped with Canadian, as Canadian lumber. And so I am thoroughly embarrassed as a Canadian that they ship that product to any customer, let alone me. Uh, so in Canada, when I lived there back in the early 2000s, and I was doing a little bit of DIY around the house, um, I learned to always go through the lumber at the Home Depot or wherever I was buying it. Go through the lumber individually, stick by stick, and pick what you pick what is good and reject everything else. And you know, living in Japan now for such a long time, I've forgotten that golden rule. And I went down to the DIY shop last week and looked at their lumber there and said, "I want you know 40 sticks of that." And got it and it is wildly curving all over the place so I don't know how I'm going to deal with it I've got to cut a bunch of short pieces for um, uh, for bracing between the studs uh, you'll see that as we get as we get into the um, construction part and so I can I can use the wildly curving long ones cut them up into short pieces and hopefully still um, make use of them So the first thing I'm doing is I'm building a ledger board um, to run along the along the retaining wall itself and sit above it. And the ledger wall is going to be, or the ledger board is going to be, what is it, eight inches high, um, 
above the uh, pipes. And on that side, the opposite ledger board, let's call it, um, is going to be two inches high. So we'll have a six inch rise um, over the length or the width of this platform. That's what we want. Okay, now that I've kind of got a view of how this is going to lay on the pipes, I haven't yet um, nailed, you know, sistered the, the um, two ledger boards um, together yet. I've just put a couple of screws in as placeholders. So I'm going to go through and now just nail them all down, uh, make it all a, a firm and solid one piece of wood. And then I've got to work on these rafter type of uh, boards. And that's going to be a little bit difficult. Let's, let's see how that goes. In order to ensure that the ledger board doesn't go tumbling over the, over the wall and down the mountain, I put a couple of these vertical 2x4s in there just to, just to keep it from doing that. Nothing's nailed down, but I fitted all the boards. Um, it looks pretty wonky still, and it's not helped by the curve of some of these boards. What a sucker I was for taking them. So as luck would have it, um, I couldn't use my nail gun because it's a, a wonderful Makita product. It's supposed to be the highest quality around, of course. I believe that. But of course, it has a proprietary nipple. Should have it in tomorrow. Um, Amazon is great, um, but uh, it might not be until the end of the day. So I don't know what will happen. I'm waiting on the gun um, to finish sistering these ledger boards, uh, both um, wall side and mountain side. And then I'll toenail in all of these rafters. Uh, and then I'll start putting in um, some spacers, some blocking in between them. And uh, pretty much that's it. Then I will hopefully get some planks to cover it all up with and make it a usable um, deck. <sighs> Good girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm cutting some spacer blocks and they will go between the rafters that you see here. Um, nothing is nailed down yet because I don't have the nail gun. I've just got a few screws tacking the ledger boards together. B is here with me today. I'm trying to keep her out of the pit. Um, whenever I go down there, she wants to follow me. So um, it's prime tick season. We're in the middle of rainy season, but as you can see, today is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Um, but in the middle of rainy season, that's prime tick season. So I'm trying to keep her on the, the hard pack. No hissing. It's working. Put the safety on. So those are not going in. compressor is is not sufficient to drive the gun and that's why none of the nails are going in even when it's adjusted fully um, this air compressor only goes up to 0.8 well I didn't get as much done as I wanted today um, a little bit here and there so small steps we're still making progress um, I've got some equipment challenges that I need to sort I've actually learned a lot about my equipment this weekend, whether I wanted to or not. My nail gun is now working. My air compressor needs to be upgraded. Uh, and I've got all the, um, the rest of the um, framing lumber um, cut and prepared and stacked for the, the, the working platform, the deck. Okay, after a few starts and stops, we finally got things sorted. And I've got my new hose, my adapters that should work, my gun that is filled with the right size nail, 65 mil, and the compressor down in the pit already. So let's get to nailing. In case I didn't mention it, this is my first time using a real nail gun, the Makita uh, 936H. I bought this because my former architect said in his plans that I needed a gun that shoots these CN 65, 75, and 90 mil nails. Um, it's a structural requirement for some of the walls and uh, roofing on the house. So I had to get this particular um, type of gun. Uh, I just chose Makita because it has the best brand name. Um, I had to buy the, unexpectedly, I had to buy the um, uh, air compressor. I got it on Yahoo Auctions uh, for about 40% off, which was really good. List price is outrageous. Uh, you know, first time using it, I'm a newbie. It was really effective, really powerful, um, did exactly what I expected it to do. Um, no surprises, so I'm quite happy. This isn't a product review, by the way. I'm just, uh, you know, giving you some newbie impressions. Well, 
I'm going to work on putting some flooring down on this working platform right now. Uh, I found some planks down at the bottom of the property that I had left there last year. Uh, they had originally been intended for the interior of the tiny house right behind camera. Um, and, they, and I've decided not to use them there. Uh, they're, they're about 8 inches wide, which is great, but they're not very thick. I think, I think they're only a half inch thick, and it's untreated cedar. So this is not a great choice. You know, if they last a season maybe, uh, I'll, I'll, maybe two, I'll be lucky I think. Shimoda, in the Shimoda weather, the humidity is just really, really atrocious for wood. And um, so let's just see. It's, you know, it's bought and paid for. It's a sunk cost. This is why I'm going to go with it. Um, the other alternative was to go to my Sawyer <clears throat> and ask for all, just a whole set of new planks. Given the cost of lumber these days, I figure I'll use what I've got, see how many seasons I can get out of it, and replace it as necessary. Actually, I don't think I've got exactly enough to finish the whole deck. Um, so I will have to buy some more anyway, um, but I'll, I'll have to stick with the half inch uh, thickness. So let's get started uh, and um, see how far we can get today. It's already late in the afternoon, but um, I've got tomorrow too if the rain holds off. Well, you can see I'm missing just a little bit. Um, probably, I don't know. Shoot. 10 more planks would definitely do it. Might even get away with five four meter planks. Okay, but the thing to note here, first of all, this is, nothing's nailed down, so this is a danger zone. Okay, so I won't let anybody walk on here. Half, half of these boards are wet. They're all wet in some place and it is slick down there. So got to stay off of that. <laughs> got to keep it dry, I guess. Uh, and that means getting a roof on. So there's an, uh, you know, there's a challenge here now in front of me to get a roof on this thing. Uh, it won't happen before, you know, it won't happen anytime soon. Um, probably a couple weeks at the, at the earliest. So anyway, I'll get this nailed down and uh, call it a day. I think I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> Thanks everybody for hanging around. Um, we, I think we did some good work this weekend. And um, I appreciate your sticking through to the end. Bye now.